Hello, welcome back to the show. Got myself a coffee. I am in the IMAX Park shopping mall. I'm gonna show you a little tidbit of information. My favorite thing about this shopping mall. You come up to the third floor. Got a little exit here. Takes you to my favorite place to eat. Let's go. As you can see, it gets real busy up in here. favorites right there, the shaved ice. But I'm doing the keto today, so no shaved ice cream for me. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hook myself up with some chow dough food. Yes, I'm not, I'm not. I'm also enjoy the ride. It's pretty yeah. easy up here. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my stinky tofu. That's uh, fermented tofu. Really good, by the way. And while I'm walking and eating, I'm gonna be looking for somewhere a little quiet so I can talk about what this video is about today. Oh yeah. We're talking about a Chongqing sex theme park that was built. Literally finished construction here in a Chongqing back in 2009 but they tore it down before it opened. But the fact that it completed construction says something about Chongqing, all right? Well, let's get to it. <laughs> By the way, did you see the cup of luck and coffee I was drinking? If you want a cup of luck and coffee, I'm gonna throw a QR code up on the screen. You scan that, you download the app, you order your first cup of coffee, you're gonna get a huge discount, and you're gonna give me a free cup of coffee. So thank you. And if you can't scan the QR code, I'll throw a link in the description. Okay, this story comes from The Traveler. Let's go with it. This is take two, my first take. I recorded the screen this way. It never occurred to me to do it this way, which would be better for YouTube. So, take two, let's go. I'm not at the cool city square. I'm on some side street, you know, with no bus stop. Let's read it. This story is from The Traveler. Sexually explicit theme park torn down. Here's a cool picture. Check it out. All right. China's first sexually explicit theme park here in Chongqing back in 2009 was torn down before it even started. Actually, before it opened, it was finished being built. It just didn't open to the public. After an outcry from officials, the Chinese newspaper reported on Monday. Not recently, back in the day. Loveland, set to open in October in the southwestern city of Chongqing, featured exhibits on its sexual history and how-to workshops, the China Daily newspaper reported last week. Whoa. All right. By the way, the exact location down, uh, you've been to Foreigner Street with all the rides and the theme park and the big size public toilet and all that. That's where this was being built, that area. All right, let's keep going. A picture of the park entrance showed a signboard with the park's name straddled by a giant pair of woman's legs topped by a red thong. <laughs> But the plans left Chongqing's officials red face. They ordered the park torn down over the weekend, the China Daily reported. Officials called the planned park vulgar, ill-minded, and misleading, said the paper. 
many Chinese citizens apparently agreed. The park had drawn controversy on the internet, with some calling it too much, even for fast living Chongqing, while others praised it as a step forward for sexual candor. That's that story. All right, on to the next article. All right, this article comes from the Daily News. Dated way back when, not reason. Okay, sex theme park. Oh, there's an ad. Sex theme park Loveland in Chongqing, China, gets demolished before it can even open. That's D9. D9. If I'm correct. Right. There's the picture of the legs with the red thong straddling the entrance. Cool. This investment turned out to be as risky as it was risque. A sex theme park that featured explicit exhibits of genitalia and sexual culture is being demolished before it can even open, a government spokesman in southwestern China said Monday. The park, oh, go back up. The park christened Loveland by its owners went under the wrecking ball over the weekend in the city of Chongqing, said the spokesman, who, like many Chinese bureaucrats, would give only his surname, Young. Young refused to give the reason for the demolition or other details. However, photographs of the adult-only park had circulated widely on the internet over the weekend, prompting widespread mockery and condemnation. Exhibits had included giant-sized reproductions of male and female anatomy, dissertations on how the topic of sex is treated in various cultures, and what the official China Daily newspaper called sex technique workshops. Whoa. The park's main investor, Lui Xiaoqing, had earlier claimed that the attraction sought only to boost sexual awareness and improve people's sex lives. The demolition highlights conflicted views on sex in modern China, where a prudish attitude toward discussion of sexuality is paired with an almost clinical approach to its physical aspects. While pornography is banned and sex education largely unheard of, Shops selling sex toys and related items stand out prominently in many neighborhoods and sex outside marriage is widely tolerated. Prostitution, while technically illegal, is widespread and the keeping of mistresses <laughs> among prominent businessmen and Communist Party officials is considered commonplace. Such attitudes are blamed in part for risky sex and ignorance about birth control among minors. With public discussions of sex limited, there is relatively little awareness of sexual harassment and abuse, and laws and regulations covering such matters are weaker in China than in many countries. Newspapers last week carried prominent reports on government officials who was let off with a fine simply because he said he had not known that the 13-year-old girl he paid to have sex with was underage. The man Louis Yumin, a local tax bureau official in Sichuan province, Yi Yibin County, was arrested on charges of child rape but convicted only of visiting a prostitute and fined 5,000 yen. That's the end of the article. So this uh, article reminded me of something I, I heard of and read of and while I was in South Korea but never visited myself, I wish I would have. But here, it's called uh, Loveland in Jeju Island in uh, South Korea. Let's Google it, here's the directions, you can go visit it yourself. Alright, now let's take a look at some pictures. This is some of the images you would have seen here in Chongqing. Or at least related images. 
had it stayed open to the public before it demolished. Let's go ahead and do it. So we got a lot of uh, sexually explicit statues, uh, certain poses you could take selfies with. One in the pink, two in the stink, upside down, 69. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> it's hilarious. Wow. That is so funny. Oh my god, a little hand crank so you can see it in action. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, you get the idea. You get the idea. Some put a little rose petal in the bottom section there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, any more? Any more? Get the idea. Okay. There are a lot of people down here dancing at City Square. Anyway, I just uh, stopped in the Olay while we're having this little chit chat about, you know what, picking me up some dark chocolate and some soda water. Two best things I love while doing my keto. All right. Speaking of dark chocolate, do you need a VPN service so you can look up really cool articles you wouldn't otherwise know about? Well, I'm going to throw a link in down in the description just for you for ExpressVPN. Short disclaimer, disclaimer in general, I will get a free month if you decide to sign up with their service. So thank you if you sign up using my link, all right? Thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. Whether you did or didn't like it, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, all right? Let me know what you think. Hit the subscription button along with that bell so you get notifications and be on the lookout for that ghost town trip here in Chongqing because the weather is getting real nice. It's not supposed to rain much these next few days, so that's where I'll be going, which means that'll be my next video. All right, see you in the next episode.